Let's take a look at the Svantec SV104 Personal Noise Dosimeter. This is a comprehensive instrument for the measurement of workplace noise. Uh, the user interface is pretty straightforward. We have our main display screen. The top bar across here in gold shows us the current status of the instrument, what it's doing, what it's measuring for us. The main part of the display here shows us our results and the labels and titles of the various parameters we're measuring. The control of the instrument is through just three keys, a down button, a right button and an enter button. Each of these keys performs the task that is indicated on it but also has secondary tasks if you hold the button down for normally about three seconds. For example the enter key, if you hold it down for three seconds, turns the instrument on or off. The right button, if you hold it down for three seconds, brings up the voice note comment recording to add notes to the measurement. And the down key, with the padlock symbol here, is how we lock the noise dosimeter prior to leaving it on the worker to secure it from being tampered with. Each of these key combinations also work together as pairs. For example, the down and the right key, when pressed together, either start or stop a measurement. The down key and the enter key, when pressed together, bring up a setup menu that enables us to change the configuration of the instrument using a previously stored configuration file. The right and enter key when pressed together bring up the calibration screen and allow us to perform the acoustic calibration on the dosimeter before and after our runs. It's possible to review what the current instrument configuration is once the instrument is switched on. In the screen showing the instantaneous sound level, the standby mode, just simply press the enter key to cycle through the displays until you come to the display where the battery is indicated here. This indication shows us that we currently have at least 27 hours of runtime left. Uh, we can scroll down through this information to show us some more information. So here we see that currently default 2 setup is the named configuration file that will be used to make these measurements. Profile 1 is labelled OSHA Hearing Conservation, Profile 2 is labelled OSHA PEL and Profile 3 will measure the ACGIH settings for us. Finally, this particular configuration file is not using the timers. The real-time clock in the instrument settings are currently disabled, meaning that the instrument will start and stop as we command from the keypad buttons. If we want to change the configuration of the noise dosimeter to perform a slightly different task from the one that it did last time, we have the means to do this using the down and the enter buttons that will bring up a setup menu for us. If you press these two buttons and hold them for three seconds, the setup menu is displayed and a list of previously stored setup names is shown in the display. We can go down through the list using the down button. We can go back up through the list using the right button. When we've highlighted the setup name that we want to use we simply press the enter button. The load setup screen is shown 
If we're happy this is the right one that we want to use, simply press the right button to load that setting and at this point now everything is good. The setup has been loaded into the active memory. We're ready to start. All we need to do now is press exit to leave this menu. The dosimeter is now set according to all the configurations that we have previously set for that named configuration file. Let's look at the functionality of the user interface of the noise dosimeter in a little bit more detail. After we switch the instrument on and it finishes its startup routine, the instantaneous sound level is indicated on the display. Uh, normally the first thing to do at the beginning of the measurements is to perform an acoustic calibration. So we would get our calibrator, fit it over the microphone, make sure it's a good secure fit, turn the calibrator on and when the signal stabilizes you'll see that we have the typical 114 or thereabout signal indicated. After a few seconds the instrument goes into the auto calibration routine, it makes the measurement, asks us to wait and at the end of the measurement gives us the calibration factor that it has uh, had to introduce to bring the instrument into correct calibration. At this point we can either press the down button to cancel the calibration routine if we don't wish to save it or more normally just press the right arrow button to accept the calibration. The calibration is accepted and saved prior to the measurement beginning. Turn off the calibrator, remove it from the microphone and we are ready to start our measurements. Before we begin our measurements, we have a really useful feature with the Svantec SV104 and that's to record some voice notes which we can use to annotate the recordings so that we know what we've done. To initiate the voice note recording, we press and hold the right button for three seconds. After three seconds, the voice comment menu is shown. The instrument tells us it's waiting to start. We can either cancel to back out of this if we don't want to record any notes, but more usually just press the right button to begin the recording. Now you can see we're actually recording. Everything that the microphone is picking up is saved as a small file with the noise dose results that the dosimeter makes. We can now say who the measurements are being made on, where the measurements are made, the date, the start time, any other pertinent information which we feel may be useful for us for later on. When we've finished our recording we can press stop and the voice notes that we've just made are saved together with the file. The voice note recording can be as long or as short as you feel you need. There is no time limit on the available recording time.